being kind of in that center section, um, it gives you that feeling that you're right in the face of the person that's speaking, um, especially when you're kind of on that elevated plane. Um, and so the chapel is set up in a way where every seat is kind of a good seat, um, but especially in that middle section, you feel like you're right in the face of the speaker. And when they stand on the stage, sometimes they have a pedestal, sometimes they walk away from it, but their character, their energy, their, their enlightenment, all of that seems to radiate. And so one of the phenomenal speakers that we had even today was Dr. Cornell West, phenomenal, also from Sacramento, California. Um, he brought that life, brought that energy, but he really brought that truth, a well-needed and well-received message for today. His whole speech, like that whole X amount of minutes where he was talking, I knew he was talking to me, and uh, that you don't get that experience somewhere else. Like, people don't come and speak to a, a general public of black men, 18 to 22, 23 years old, and be that real with them and that frank. And that's what King Chapel provides. You have a bunch of smart gentlemen um, all being in one area at the same time. It's just, it just makes you want to be better because you know, you never know what the man next to you knows. And so you ignite a conversation with him and you want to, he enlightens you, you enlighten him. In an environment where you can see so many African Americans actually, actually joining and listening to words that are like going, speaking to the soul and from the heart. The gathering in King's Chapel is just a culmination of, or it's just an example of what's going on at, in this campus and in the entire AUC on every single day, all the day, at nighttime, and that's true discourse between people that are sharing a perspective that people don't acknowledge is way more diverse than what you realize it as. We all get categorized as black this, black that, but each one of us has a perspective that puts us in a class all of our own. I feel like I'm blessed like to even be able to be in that position to begin with. Not a lot of people get the opportunities that we get, especially coming here to Morehouse College, so to be able to participate in those things, it, like, it puts you on a higher level, but at the same time, you have to realize that you have to reach out to those that do, may not have those opportunities, try to pass on that information to them. King Chapel, it helps us unite as African American males. We get the chance to listen to speakers, listen to our faculty members that allow ourselves to be better. It makes me feel great because typically even on Sundays, you see more women in church than men, so when I see more men gathered inside one place, it makes me feel so to be in that environment around a, a bunch of other young black men, black males doing great things, I feel welcome, I feel like I'm in the right place. But it's even just as much, if not more so, powerful to be able to sit in the classes of particular professors here. Because those professors are just as eminent as those individuals that stand up on stage. And sometimes they are the people that are up on stage. But you get to speak with them face to face when you go to class or at their office. You find out more about your history each and, each and every time you enter the King's Chapel.